Hey everyone, welcome back to the Amber Living Vlog and this is the film industry with episode number 10. This is Film Distribution 101. So let's just jump right into it. What is film distribution? It is getting your movie out to the people, getting it out to the mass audience and the public so everyone can see it and buy a ticket, sit down, watch it, and getting it out in the open to all the theaters or other platforms. So what are the platforms of distribution? Distribution platforms today have changed a little bit. Number one that everyone knows about is theatrical. Getting your movie into a theater, that is the classic traditional distribution. It used to just be the theater. Now there is VOD, video on demand. You have Netflix, you have Hulu, you have online. There's so many places where you can watch a movie. Well, iTunes as well. How does a film get acquired? Once your film is all set, once it's done, there's no post to be done, you know, there's nothing else. It's completed, it's finished, it's polished, it's ready to be seen. You can either go into the film festival circuit, you know, you can send your movie to certain companies. You have to show your movies. People have to see it and the right people have to see it. Usually what you want to do is you want to enter all the film festival circuits. I'm talking about Toronto Film Festival, you know, Los Angeles, New York, um, you know, London, you, you have all the big film, Venice, you know, all those big film festivals because those are the festivals that all the big acquisitions executives, all those people play a key role in acquiring and distributing. So like you have theater representatives, you have, you know, studio representatives, you have everyone trying to get their hands on the next big independent film. It's, you know, you made your movie independently, but a big studio or distribution company can pick you up. It's all kind of a complicated process, but you need to get your movie out there to be seen in order to get distributed. So let's just talk about what a distribution company does. So once you're acquired, you have a marketing plan, who are you going to market the movie to? So the distribution company is in charge of all of that. Where and what group are we going to market to? How are we going to go about selling this movie? Once a print and advertising plan is put together and a marketing plan is put together, they kind of package that and then they start pitching it to theater chains. These are your independent distribution. Pitching is trying to sell. You're selling the movie to the theater chains to carry your movie so you can have people see it. Now, what theater chains try to do is they try to make you rent and pay a lot of money up front. There's a term called four wall and that is the theater rental fee. That's really not where you want to go because you're gonna pay a lot of money to get your movie into that theater and that's not really good for anybody. There's also another option where they think they're gonna make all this money and then you split the ticket prices half and half. So 50% goes to, for example, Regal and 50% goes to the distribution company and then that's when the filmmakers get paid because there's a deal that happens between you know, the distribution company and or the producers and director and all those people. So there's a lot of cutting and this is why ticket prices are really, really high because everyone's getting a cut of all this stuff. So how do you pick the right company to get distributed with? You know, you have to really negotiate because these, you know, distribution companies are really, really slick. They, you know, you have to make sure you're listening to their rhetoric, make sure you're listening to the things that they're saying. Sometimes you'll get in advance, sometimes you won't. Distribution companies will try everything in their power not to give you a big chunk of money in advance. So outside of theater distribution, you have like Netflix, you have iTunes, you have all of those platforms. Now, every time you rent a movie from those, and every time you buy a movie from one of those platforms, you know, you, everyone gets a little cut, just like a theater ticket. You have a lot of costs that the distribution company pays. So it costs money to get a movie onto iTunes. It costs money to, you know, the projector that the movie is going to be used to project the movie to the audience, there's a fee for that. There's a fee, <laughs> there's like tons of fees. I mean, there's shipping stuff, there's contract shipping, there's like so many fees that are applied to the distribution company, like advertising. Advertising is not cheap. I just, you know, learned all of this and none of it was from school. So I'm really hoping that you guys have taken away some information about distribution. It can, it's just, it's a really complicated process to get, be acquired. It's a really complicated process to get your movie on iTunes. It's really complicated to get your movie, you know, into the theaters. It's all a really big process and you have to go through a lot of different people to approve. And there's just, you know, there's not just one, it's not really simple and there's just not one yes that has to be said. A movie comes onto my desk. I'm gonna give that movie to a few interns. Those interns are gonna watch it. I need at least three people to watch the, that movie. They can say yes or no. So really your fate lies in the hands of interns sometimes because if they love it or they hate it, 
You know, if all three of them hate it, I'm not going to look at the movie. If all three of them love it, I'll look at the movie. If I love it, I bring it to my boss. It's just a lot of people watching this movie before anyone ever sees it in the public. So that was distribution 101. It was really kind of messy because it's just a really messy process. I, I tried to organize it as best I could, but that was distribution 101 with the Amber Living vlog. And this has been the film industry. <laughs>